Hey again, friends. Welcome back. My name is Chuck Jones, coming to you from West Nashville, Tennessee. Um, appreciate you watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube if you get a chance and hit the notification bell. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to do a fourth video here that has to do with uh, the caged chords in the open position. And this one is going to, I think the last video, or just recently I did one, on the chord progression of one four five, well, this chord progression is the uh, two five one. Uh, I'm going to start with C here, and then we'll go through the caged chords C, A, G, E, and D. And the reason I'm using these just these five chords, obviously there are more chords that you'll you'll learn these two, but once you get it down with these five chords, you know all the positions there are. But within one three fret area on the guitar, any one three fret area, you can play pretty much any key in five different, you know, pretty much any key, knowing this cage system. So, um, so diving right into it here. So in, um, in the key of C, you have a two chord is D minor, then your five chord is G major, and C, back to your C chord. Key of A, so we go up to the second tone in the A scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven octave. That second tone is a B, so our two minor is B minor, and then three, four, five is E, back to A. So we have B minor, A. Um, in the key of G, the two minor would be A minor. Uh, the five minor, would be D, back to your G chord. So you'd have A minor, D chord. That's your two, five, one, and G. In the key of E, the two minor is F sharp minor, and the five is one, two, three, four, five, B. So you got um, Then that leads us back to D, the last letter in caged, and the two minor in D is E minor. You got D, E, F, F sharp, G, A, E, C sharp, D. So the two minor will be E minor. Five uh, chord would be the A chord. So the, uh, uh, you have two minor, uh, one, two, three, four, five is A. So you have two minor E, A is a five, back to D, which is the one chord. And if you're going to use these, uh, if you're going to do the two five one progressions with uh, seven chords, then uh, it would be in the key of C. It would be D minor seven, G seven dominant, A and C major seven, or just C major. Then you go to G. You have a, a minor seven. I'm sorry. Go to A, and you have D minor, B minor seven is two chord. E dominant 7 is a 5 chord back to A major 7. Key of G, you have A minor 7, 2 chord. D7 for your 5 chord. G major, uh, G major 7 or G major whatever is your 1 chord. Key of E, you've got F sharp major 7, B dominant 7, E. Then in the key of D, you have E minor 7, A dominant 7, D major 7. Now you might notice um, you can get some, you can expand these this 2-5-1 to come up with uh, larger chord progressions. So, so once again, see we have D minor, D, major, D minor 7, G dominant 7, C major 7. So what if then we go down to... C relative minor, which is A minor, the six minor. So that'll be two minor seven, five seven, one major seven, six minor seven, right? So you got a D minor seven. There I'm using, actually I'm, I'm doing the seventh in that G seven, the five seven chord on the D string and I'm playing that E string open instead of doing the seventh note there to give it a G 13 chord. C major seven. A minor 7. In the key of A, this progression would be B minor 7, E7, A major 7, then 
F sharp minor seven, because that's the six minor in A. Remember I said uh, in a video recently to, to determine a, um, a major chord's relative minor, just take the tonic of the major chord, go down three half steps or a minor third, and there you have your, your relative minor. And conversely, if you're looking for the relative major of a minor chord, go up a minor third and there's your relative major. So um, in the, that's A in the key of G to do a two minor five uh, six minor progression would be A minor seven, D seven, G, E minor seven, which is the relative minor in the key of G. And then the key of E, you'd have once again, F sharp minor seven. A lot of times when I'm playing F sharp minor chords, guys, I'll turn it into an F sharp minor 11. It just works real well <laughs> on guitar because you can play those, the B and the E string open and just put those, and I'm not actually, I'm not playing that A string. I'm muting it with my middle finger. Real nice sounding chord. And you can actually go from there to the five seven chord and make it a sus chord. Instead of resolving that, you can go. Then go to your one chord. And your six minor here would be C sharp minor. You can play it there with a bar. It's like a C, C shape, but C minor. And I'm instead of doing the five up there, I'm putting the flat seven on the G string and barring like an A bar there. Coming back on the A string of my third fret, fourth, third finger, fourth fret, um, pinky fourth fret on the B on the G string for the flat seven. So it'd be um, um, once again F sharp minor eleven maybe or seven to B seven or B eleven or B sus to E. You can do an E major seven there. To C sharp minor seven. That's in E. Then in uh, D, you would have a E minor seven for your two minor, A seven dominant for your five, D major seven for your one chord, and then B minor seven for your six minor chords. Go down a minor third, and I got that B minor seven as the relative minor for my D major seven. So once again in C, we have. D minor, G dominant seven. I'm sorry, C major seven, A minor seven. Key, uh, key of A we have B minor seven, E dominant seven, A major seven, F sharp minor seven. Key of G you have A minor seven, D seven, G major seven, E minor seven. Key of E you have a uh, F sharp minor seven, B dominant seven, E major seven, C sharp minor seven. You can also move that C sharp minor up here to a A minor position, C position, but turn it into an A minor. Of course, at the fourth at the fourth fret, that A minor becomes a C sharp, A B C C sharp. I really like this fingering myself right here at the second fret, and you can actually. Do that even differently. Instead of having the tonic on top, you can put another minor third up there. That's where you're doubling that E note, which is a minor third in C sharp. So in E, once again, you'd have F sharp minor seven, B dominant seven, E major seven, C sharp minor seven. And then in D, of course, you got E minor seven, A seven. Maybe put a color note like a, a sharp five in there for an altered dominant five chord, uh, dominance, a five dominant seven chord, then D major seven to a B, B minor seven for your sixth. Uh, e minor, A seven, D major seven. You can do it like that with the D open, D string open, or you can make the C shape at the second fret and just leave that bar there. Still don't, don't use your middle finger. And that sets you up pretty nicely for that B minor 7 chord. Um, 
So there are uh, just a few ways to come up with some chord progressions on your own using the cage system and these um, two five, uh, two five one progressions and two five one six. And of course it's two minor, dominant five, one major, minor six. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday late afternoon here in Nashville. So um, I think I'm going to go outside and enjoy the weather for a little bit cooling off a little bit loving these fall days once again be sure to uh, subscribe hit the notification bell like it and share folks